Okay guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make hydrogen balloons. Now first of all, you need caustic soda. Now this is stuff is uh, quite corrosive, so you don't want to get it on your food. Now what you do is you pour this into a glass bottle with some water at the bottom. I'm going to use a bit more than that. This stuff is readily available from your uh, supermarket. Because it's used to unblock drains. It's used in a lot of industries as well. Now, I'm just going to put some water in there. And I'm just going to agitate that. Now, the reaction of dissolving the uh, caustic soda into the water is exothermic and generates a little bit of heat itself. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it into a saucepan with some ice in it, some ice water in it. Now, this should keep, keep everything cool while I undergo the reaction. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add aluminium foil to into the bottle, like so. Now what happens here is the caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, reacts with the aluminium to produce hydrogen gas. Now you may think caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, sodium with a hydroxide, OH, how's that going to produce hydrogen gas? Well, the thing is, it does and it's producing steam as well because the reaction is so exothermic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the balloon over the top of the glass bottle, like so, and slowly it's inflating. The reaction is actually going quite off. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's going off and generating quite a bit of heat. Now this hydrogen room is probably full of, full of steam and also hydrogen gas. Now as I was saying, that's why we've got this uh, cooling set up here to uh, cool down the reaction so that we don't generate as much steam. Now what happens is the hydrogen comes from the hydroxide and the aluminium forms a complex with the oxygen and such. Just tie this balloon up, like so. full of hydrogen. Far out! <laughs> Definitely full of hydrogen gas, guys. Now, there you go. That's how you make hydrogen balloons. You just learned it from Tall Abriola, the uh, backyard chemist. But you see I have my degree, so I know what I'm doing, guys. But make sure, wear your safety glasses your lab clothes, make sure everything's safe before you do anything like this. If you're a child, maybe ask your parents first. Um, probably don't want, this is sort of safe. The liquid in there is very corrosive. Got to be careful with that, but you don't want to uh, blow the hydrogen balloon up in your face and lose your facial hair and hair and eyesight. So there you go, that's how you make hydrogen balloons. Thanks for watching guys.